How's it going guys? How are you doing? And welcome to a brand new tutorial from iPino Screws. And here we got a brand new set where we just like sit down and have some chat with you guys about different stuff. So today we are going to be seeing top five programming languages you should learn by 2020 and by the beginning of 2021. Those languages are actually, you know, crucial to have in your pocket as a developer. If you're like a newbie developer or you're experienced developer, and you want to looking for like new languages to learn on the market and top things in the market. So these languages, these five languages are actually for you guys to go ahead and just figure out how you can learn these five languages for just mastering everything or for landing your first job. So like knowing exactly what language to learn or the exact amount of language programming language to learn first is actually crucial that I'm going to just actually decide the path that you're going to continue through with that particular language. So the language or choosing the right language is really, really important in your career and it's going to affect actually your career and your entire beginning and can disturb your entire beginning. So knowing exactly what you learn is really, really crucial. So number one top language I would recommend for you to start with is JavaScript. So JavaScript has been dominating the field of the most popular and the most used language since 2011. So since that it has been actually taking the first section where it just like shines up and mostly every developer uses JavaScript in one of the fields since it has been dominating all the fields that you can be using for that JavaScript. It's everywhere and especially like the developments and the crucial development actually of web applications and mobile applications so it has made JavaScript become really popular among developers and a lot of like frameworks. It has a lot of frameworks and libraries among all of the different stuff. So yeah, JavaScript should be a really good choice for you actually guys to go ahead and learn it. And obviously if you want to land a job, so there's so many job listings, so many employers are actually looking for talented JavaScript. Uh, employees pretty much or developers so if you want to just have that or grab this section of a field so JavaScript could be really useful for you guys to go ahead and start learning with it it wouldn't be that hard to be honest and you can create pretty much a lot with it so with the JavaScript you can pretty much go ahead starting from creating a simple website like simple HTML website into going and creating backend using Node.js and different uh, runtimes and frameworks or you can just go ahead and create like IoT applications and embedded devices so you can create applications for different stuff like that or even mobile applications from Android and iOS so you can do that actually so JavaScript is the most popular and used language on the this year depending on the 2020 survey. So the second language here is actually Python. So we have probably somehow heard about Python here and there on Google, YouTube, or even Instagram. Everyone is actually talking about Python, how cool it is, how the syntax is easy to learn, and how you can quickly get started with it as a beginner or as a newbie. Of course, Python is super easy to learn, super easy to get started with, and very, very powerful. So the main idea behind Python is actually to build a programming language that is flexible and performant, and as well, the syntax should be just easier. So it just like focuses on the developer experience more and more. So that's actually the creator of Python. It has never expected that it would be super popular this way. It's actually right now, it is the second popular and the most used language among different languages, of course, just right after JavaScript, um, according to the GitHub repository uh, contribution review. So yeah, it has been taking that lead most of the times in here. So we can do a Python if you're just like asking, what can I do with Python? Well, there's so many things you can do with Python if you're just like visioning into one of these things. You can of course do like backend uh, and server side development. So you can develop web servers and APIs and different stuff like that. Uh, you can program your own stuff like this. So using different frameworks like Django or Flask or anything like that. So it actually has a huge community out there of tutorials and uh, different videos and courses explain how you can create such things. Or you can go in and just do like data science, which is going viral these days and these couple of years because so many data has been out there, like big data terms and stuff like that. So, so many data sciences are needed. And yeah, so you could be one of the data sciences as well. And Python is actually a really great tool for all that. And most importantly, what you can do as well, AI, which is Python is actually 
like the number one you could go for if you want to just go like do AI and machine learning or even deep learning so all of the different stuff like that Python is actually just having the lead on artificial intelligence and stuff like that or even data science and I do work with it regularly for stuff like that or TensorFlow or AI or machine learning so it's been really nice to go in and work with Python you can just go and add it to the list of the two learning programming languages of course the third most recommended language this year is Go so it is just called like that it's Golang or most important or what you could say about it is just Go Go is, is a Google's programming language it is super popular nowadays and it is pretty much like among the top paying languages so if you're looking for a top paying like job like more than 80k per year well you can just go in and go with go go is actually super simple super performance it has been made for that particular case to make it super simple and super performant at the same time it is more like the c and c plus plus style where it just gives you like low level uh programming and control over memory and pointers and different like that that's but it is actually super easy to work with and it's super simple to control all the different memory stuff like this of course you can use it with a garbage collector or automatically garbage in without using or managing the memory but it's still you can do so many things with that and as i said before it is actually google's programming language so it is super powerful and super pop popular nowadays it has been used by quite so many times things and it is pretty much more especially made for server side and back-end servers for creating like more performance uh, servers and faster servers in general so you can integrate it pretty much everywhere and have it actually working anywhere you want so it is actually this way of go and as I said before you can go and start learning it right now if you already know or familiar with the syntax of a different language so let's say JavaScript or Python go would be just super easy uh, to get started with without any issues or complications the fourth language is Java yeah you are hearing it correctly it is Java so Java has been actually more than a decade and it's been taking the lead on that particular last 10 years so a lot of developers a lot of employers have been requesting Java and so many applications enterprise applications more particularly have been built around Java because it is oriented object programming or OOP and it is actually made for enterprise as frameworks made specifically for that enterprise usage and for great applications and larger projects so Java actually it can do pretty much everything because of its like um, low-level use and OOP and of course its virtual machine it can pretty much run everywhere from Android devices you can even run in iOS you can like to Windows Linux and different embedded devices or you can even run it on your own OS because it is super flexible and work with like that so that's why a lot of developers love using Java still right now in 2020 a lot of them still love using Java I've worked with Java for a decent amount of time uh, during like uh, when I worked with it with college and stuff like that so it was actually really great to work with Java and specifically made as I said for before for enterprise work so that was actually more particular for that what you can go and we'll build with it like android applications desktop applications with different um you know ui frameworks to make it look a little bit better and most importantly actually google at first chose java's primary language for pretty much working or developing uh, android applications but later on right now has introduced the new Kotlin language but still Java is actually dominating the field and it taking a huge portion of the programming world and the last one the fifth programming language is Swift so Swift is Apple's programming language firstly introduced in 2014 so it's like six years ago and it is pretty much a general purpose language compiled language and more focused on safety and general performance and more regularly used between like developers and stuff like that. so it has adopted the best thing you can find on different programming language from structures syntax and the or trying to make the best like developer experience and the more powerful um apps that are going to be built using swift and it has just put them all of that inside of that swift package and of course as i said before it has been developed by apple and it is more specifically designed 
for making iOS applications. In general, you can make with it like iPhone or iPad OS applications and tvOS application, watch OS applications, or even Mac OS X application. So it has been built around the Apple's ecosystem, all of that for developing different and variety of like app applications uh, for Apple products and different stuff like that. So it has been, like I said before, for more like six years and has seen a tremendous growth like during these years. And yeah, I'm I'm one of the like guys who actually tried Swift, but not for a really long time because I'm not a, like a, an iOS developer, but it's just the syntax looks really great. And the standard library looks really good as well. It's just like fair good. And it has a different couple of stuff like missing on different uh, other like languages like Java in, in, in the earliest versions there and here but yeah it's still actually worth a try and so what I'm gonna be saying is actually if you want to go ahead and be like an iOS developer and land a job for becoming an iOS developer or even like go a freelancer and make your own um, like iOS applications on different and variety of products Swift is actually your job and choice because before Swift like developing Android or iOS applications was done behind the scenes using Objective-C, which is was quite horrible. Uh, like so many developers out there hate Objective-C. So Apple made a really awesome step in here and just created for us this really good uh, programming language, which is Swift. So as I said before, if you want to just land your first job on iOS department and make an iOS application, Swift is actually your choice. And it has actually a really good paying um, job offerings out there from employers and different companies so yeah you can go ahead and give it a shot and hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video story because i just like wanted to make this new type of video story just sit down in my chair in front of my desk and try to just give you as much information as as I, like i could and i try to like you know visualize what different programming languages depending on my experience and depending off uh the data that has been collected from surveys this year so yeah i try to just give you the best that way you can learn on top programming languages if you are a beginner even intermediate guy who wants to look for like different and new uh, languages to just cover yeah that would be really great for you guys to go ahead and give that so thank you guys for watching hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial as always without further ado without further say i uh, hope you guys have enjoyed as i said before catch you all in the next one make sure to subscribe push that like button just gonna give us uh, like a tremendous uh, positive power and as i said before catch you all guys in the next one adios